This has got a fixed bed on the back end. Look at that. You'll really be kitted out to go anywhere with this, wouldn't you? Look at the hatch there. Big old hatch open. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. Take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there guys and welcome back to the channel it's a lovely sunny 17th of september sunny morning just after half past 10 and we're at uh, the international adventure overlander show here in stratford upon avon um which looks like it's going to be another good turnout of vans and people came here last night no saturday we're here friday obviously we've got a long weekend with the, the queen's funeral on monday god bless her um so i think a lot of people are going to stay extra time over the weekend but yeah it's a uh, Looks like it's going to be quite a big turnout. We are just getting some breakfast on the go. Bit of a late light last night, wasn't it, babe? Uh -huh. so, just saying good morning to everyone. It's a bit of a late light last night. It was. <laughs> Had a few drinks down in the bar area, Kirk and the others. We did. Just uh, so yeah, we just have a bit of breakfast and uh, have a wander around, see who's about, what's about, who we know. Yeah. What a lovely morning. But last night, guys. Compared whoa. to last night, we had gloves on, hats on. Uh, yeah, Russell came out. For those you don't know, Russell's the coat that I've got, and Claire goes berserk because of the noise it makes. Russell's, <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, even the night heater came on last night. Sorry, Liam. And this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was down to four. Four in the night. I look when, when I got up and then I woke up in the night. I thought it's cold now. What is it? And it was four degrees. So we've gone from absolutely crazy red up weather of Spain and yeah. even back here has been and really look warm. Today. No, yeah. It's... But we'll do a video tonight as well. Yeah, when it's freezing cold, <laughs> sitting around the fire. Right guys, catch you a bit later on. Check out guys. This is your new ride, is it? Yeah, I don't want my scooter anymore, I'm gonna have one of these. You're gonna have one of these instead? Yeah. Nice. Found a new bike. Got a new electric bike. Okay. <laughs> hey Dave. Dave. Found my new bike. <laughs> Twisting going, Just twist and go. It's a smart. Is it a snowmobile? No, no, you electric scooter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can do a scoot. Yeah, it's electric scooter. Wheels, though, it? Yeah. You know your scooter, you've got your twist yeah, on your throttle yeah, yeah. and then you brake. It's easy on the scooter because when you go one brake. It just means that's your brake. Yeah, take your foot and off, stops. That's it. Throttle, minute, holds off. Be alright. How cool. Based on the snowmobile, did you say this one, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Section, middle chassis bit, engine and cradle, snowmobile on the front. Wow. Yeah, it's full links, adjustable shock on there. Yeah. This is Dave from...
You all right? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Just gonna show the YouTubers what it's like. <laughs> this guy's inside. This leather holster. Take you around the other side. So you can see inside. Do I can go in. Yeah. Thank you. It's actually quite a bit smaller. Based on a Merc, long wheel base. It's a long wheel base. You got obviously a Murphy bed, is what they call them, when it falls down. It falls down to there. Light at the top, little mood light looks. Cooker. Shower room there, no doubt. Have a look. Nice and neat and small. That's all you need. I like this uh, double sided uh, side load door, that's good. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice van, that is, Max Air fan. So, yeah, guys, van builders, if you want to check these guys out, they'll build you a van. And this one's for sale. There you go. How much is this one for sale for? Uh, 75,000. 75, yeah, on the road, ready to go. Yes. Literally. <laughs> I was just telling the guys, obviously, check you guys out on there. Brilliant, thank you very much for yeah. that. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> guys, I like this bike rack on the back of here. See, that's onto the door hinges on there, look. Across the back doors and then two uh, drop bolts there, look, drop eyes. So you unplug them and swing that back out with your bikes on, and you still get in the back. I like that idea. Nice van, that isn't it? It's got the waffle boards up there. Yeah. And oh, yeah. it's got the pop top on this one. That's a, quite a one or two of these getting these on there with the pop tops on the top of them. On the short wheel bases. Medium, I think, or long, long wheel base. Huh? Got this one, similar sort of setup on the hinge on the back on the door with that box. That's on permanently, though. That is it's a nice one. Yeah, so Look at that inside, that's lovely, isn't it? Big spare at the back, little steps up. It's a nice van, that one. Um, right, guys, we're on the Motorcraft uh, stand now, Overlander Motorcraft stand, where uh, they build bespoke uh, 4x4 adventure Overlander vehicles, like this one here, which is one of my favourites, the Iveco Daily 4x4. And obviously, you've got the Unimogs, which is that one there. That one's 250,000. You've got some of these others here, like that's uh, MAM by the looks of it. Oh, okay, we're well, on the other side there. Quite a few others here as well, they're building, built or in process of. Lovely vehicles, these are. These are really rugged Mongolia, Siberia, all, all conditions. That's nice as well, look at that. We'll take a look inside that one if we can get a couple of minutes in this vehicle. Lovely. Look at that inside guys. That's nice isn't it, this is all brand new obviously. All lockers there, storage, storage is there. Looks like this is the bed. Comes away, falls away to the bed and up to the front end. We've got obviously the kitchen, shower room there. Oh, a bit of everything. This will be the walkway into the cab. That'll be the shower room. Probably locked it now, then. There you go. Probably composting the load. That's lovely, that isn't it? Big fridge. That's nice. Big hatch there. 
This is on a. I think this is a. What's this on? Yeah, man again, M A N. Seem to use man. That one as well. This has got a bit of a balcony area on the back of this one, look guys. Look at this on the back of here, where that lifts up. Be cool, wouldn't it? Look at that. Let's see if we can get in this one as well. Just have a quick look. So look, we'll go in through the the balcony area on this one. So this is a big box, obviously X Army sort of lift on the back end. Which is lovely, isn't it? So you obviously about to kit it out. You got that on the back end. Park up, chill out with the view. While well, we're up here, there you go, guys. Heavy winch on the back here, obviously, as well. Look, lifting this up, probably. Back inside, setting up probably where the bathroom's going. Fixed bed, big hatch on the top. Like that again, sky hatch. Okay, lovely truck. Let's have a look at this one first, another MAN. Let's have a look. Motorcraft, they build some good stuff, these guys do. This has got a fixed bed on the back end. Look at that. You'd really be kitted out to go anywhere with this, wouldn't you? Look at the hatch there. Big old hatch opened up. Fixed bed there. You got your cooker, all electric by the looks of it. Aircon unit. That's going to be your bathroom, probably walk through to the. they probably lock that. Bathroom will be there, be a walk through to the cab, no doubt. You got your fridge. Right. This is the other one with a big lift on the back as well. It's lovely that is, isn't it? Look at that. Big wheel though. Well. This is lovely, isn't it? Again, look at this inside this guy. Wow. Oh. Sit out there, look at the wildlife. <laughs> Big shower at the front end, look at that, wet, wet room. Climb through to the cab again. And you got all this living space. Climb up at the back for the fixed bed at the back, and another big view out. Plenty of storage. No air con you in or anything, but I'm sure you could put that in. Electric again, but looks it, I think. No, nope, gas. It's solid door with a mirror on as well. TV there. That's lovely, that isn't it? Go and find some more for you. Right, guys, if you want to learn how to drive one of these, you've just took your test and you want to learn how to Overland Adventure Canopy, here you go. Our friend here will tell you all about it. Hiya, yeah. um, so we're, yeah, uh, we're Overland uh, Academy and we uh, are driving instruction for off-road for big, the, the big 4x4 trucks and, and uh, 4x4 vans. We specialise in uh, teaching basically expedition style, uh, what you're going to experience and how to drive off-road and how to operate your vehicle in a safe uh, manner. So we look, we look to basically improve your confidence. Yeah, it's not just taking your test and driving on the road. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> The off-road driving principles are completely different. Yeah. People think it's actually, anyone can drive a 4x4 on the road and drive, it's easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's when it gets wet and it gets slippery and it gets bouncy. And you get into a situation where you're stuck and you've got to get yourself out, out yeah. to lower your tyres, I suppose. And... Yeah, that's it. So we do a couple of bits of kit that will help you. Uh, and also we teach you, yeah, tell you all about how to do that, when to do it. It's basically how to avoid getting into a situation. Also, if you're in it, yeah, you, you to try and get, and get yourself it. out. Yeah. Your colleague was saying about that this uh, tire pressure stuff that you come up with. Yeah, yeah, which okay. is that's that's quite so what clever. We've done is, this is quite a common thing in four wheel drives. You've got to load down. Oh, we've got some background noise. Yeah, be um, right. <laughs> the, um, so 
when you're um, when you're off road, it's ideal to um, lower your pressures on your tyres. You get a better footprint, better traction. And so normally you're going to be doing one tyre at a time, which takes ages. So this system, um, well, I've brought it over from America. It's actually from the rock crawling community. Right. Yeah. And uh, basically, we just said, can you do a bigger version? Because um, trucks all run at much much higher tyre pressure. So your average your average four by is running at about 36, 40 psi max. These run at 110 psi. Right. Yeah. So this so is rated to 150 psi. The system. Um, trucks right. have onboard trucks have onboard air. Yeah. So you have an onboard air tank and an onboard air compressor. This connects up to that onboard air. You've got a digital system which you can check your tire pressures, and then you can using this valve, you can lower uh, because air balances. I know. You can lower all four tires at once. Oh, so they're all linked, doing the same. All linked, yeah, brilliant. All linked. Each one of these is locked on. Yeah. You, yeah. And you just basically you just pull the valve out and then lower all four at once. And then you, when you're ready and you're off and you want to go back onto the tarmac, you need to pump the tires up. You connect it back to your own system and you pump it up. So you're doing all four instead you're of doing, doing in. Four, yeah, doing saves individual. time. <laughs> and it all goes in one little bag. You wow. And that's you can get that from yourselves as well yeah. from here. Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three sixty nine. Yeah, is that the normal? Three ninety nine is the normal. Three ninety nine normally. Yeah. Three sixty nine for the show. And they can get that off your website by the looks of it as well. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get a website. It's not off yet, but we're going to get a website, a web shop. Open. Brilliant. So yeah, they're new in. They're just coming from America. So. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank but you. A really high quality kit. We don't do. You don't do cheap quality. No, not for when they... It's just no point. <laughs> no, you don't want to be stuck somewhere. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> This is part part of it's made in the UK part and the rest of it's made in America so it's all proper kit. Brilliant. So, so guys yeah. if you want to uh, obviously learn how to drive these properly once you've taken your test, you know, yeah, goods and not just on the main road, off road, which is the big big yeah. thing side of it, uh, all these tire pressure systems, then check them out. What's the website again? Yeah, it's www.overland-academy.com. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers, nice thank you. Bye bye. Right guys, back to the one that I said I like, the Iveco Daily, seven ton gross this one is. Um, it's obviously based on a 4x4 factory chassis, and then I've been converted to what it is now. It can be downrated if you want it to be downrated, the gentleman's just been saying, to uh, five and a half tons, and it'll just come in the five and a half tons then. But look at this inside. You got the bed, the bed at the back here, that's on a slider there, so that slides to here. So you could have that fixed up and sit here, sit down at the side here if you wanted to. Um, and that obviously goes as a fixed bed. I think I would prefer it to be lifting up and stay up in the roof, then come down. Uh, you'd still have all the, the seating area then. But you've got electric hob, uh, microwave at the bottom, water, and you've got uh, isotherm there. And then you've got the toilet to composting, 250 litres of water underneath, 150 compost tank. This is lovely. And obviously uh, you've got the walk through there, which goes into the cab area, storage there. Yeah, lovely Avico Daily 4x4, four wheel drive, they'll go anywhere, these things will, literally go anywhere. So yeah, I hope you liked all these guys. Catch you in a bit. This one from LGF Commercials from Oldham, Lancashire. This is a, a coach built their own. They built it, it was a delivery van to begin with. And then obviously they converted it, converted into this. Have a look at this inside for something different. Show you the garage area in a minute, but. Look at that. Well, there's a big telly that comes down, massive big telly that comes down there. Just had to get him to turn it off because obviously copywriting. Then you got a cab area there, based on a Peugeot box, I think. Um, look at that kitchen area at the back end here. Six wheeler, obviously tag axle. You got the bed at the back here, fixed bed, garage area underneath. Look at this for a bathroom. Toilet, shower. Yeah, the sink area. Brilliant, 
at that storage and you come back outside. Cucumber, have a look at it now. And you go, hello. Hello. Just having a, showing all the people on here, they see a YouTube. Fasting show this one, isn't it? Really? <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. Look at that, all the. All the toys, all the blue stuff. <laughs> all the blue stuff. Have you seen inside it? Oh, it's stunning. Oh. I've been in about half a dozen times. And I say it's lovely, isn't it, inside? It's stunning. What do you reckon, Nigel? Outside. Outside. Cooking area if you want to. So, yeah, it's getting a lot of attention now. So, there you go. So, look them up, LGF. Uh, commercials from Oldham. Lovely van. Typical, isn't it? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that was bleeping of the uh, sat nav to say that uh, there's a speed camera coming up. Well, that's another weekend over. Long weekend, obviously, now Monday. The uh, Overland Adventure Show. It was a brilliant weekend, wasn't it? It's was a really good weekend. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be able to do a lot of videoing for you, you guys, but uh, in the end, I've uh, managed to get in quite a lot of vehicles, really. Things popped up. Yeah, just the video. going into obviously that uh, all the big four before Overlander trucks as you see and then uh, a couple of other private vehicles and others that we have, as we're walking around having a look at. Yeah. It's just been a nice chill out weekend hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really really good. Yeah, gone cold though, winter's here. Diesel heater was on. Yeah, every single night we had the diesel heater going. That first night, Friday night, it was um, well on. 40 mile an hour and doing 42. After two thirds of a mile, the traffic circle Standard. Yeah, at first I, I got up, well, woke up in the middle of the night. It was about half past four, I think it was. And it was three degrees. Well, three degrees, so it was like near on virtually freezing. So uh, the diesel heater went on. <laughs> so yeah, that's another good one over. Thank you for watching. And um, next one, I don't know yet where we're going to be yet, which is the next one. Well, I know we're doing in uh, October in a few weeks' time, we're doing the Peak District around that area maybe or we may be doing a, a welsh down the welsh coast yeah we don't know um, yet who knows so we'll see we'll see probably thank be you for the guys that actually come and said hello to us as well yes yeah. all you subscribers, subscribers that came out and said, said came. hello as we walked past or? yeah that was brilliant thank you very much for uh it's popping lovely on to with meet you yeah all of you came and said hello thank you very much yeah. uh, nice comments very and we appreciate that very much absolutely, so. absolutely. gizzy was missed was, Everybody we'll, noticed the gizzy was missed. We'll definitely bring him next time. Yeah, we thought it wasn't because obviously we were in and out, in and out the van and sometimes. He doesn't like mega huge crowds. <laughs> <laughs> Just went a different way. <laughs> so right guys. Yes. We'll uh, love you and leave you as they say. Absolutely. Don't forget to subscribe, press that button. And we'll catch you on the next one. Somewhere different. Somewhere different. Next time. <laughs> yeah. Catch you soon. Bye for Bye now. Bye guys.